I've been messing around with vertical axis wind turbine designs for a while now. I plan on documenting this process going forward. Let's see where this takes us. I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching. Here atop my compost pile sit from left to right. On the left, fiberglass over plywood. Two story two blade, two feet by two feet. Seems bulletproof. It's incredibly heavy and required a one and a quarter inch shaft. Also very heavy. Good performance, but way too heavy for me to manage. On the right, again, two story two blade, two feet by two feet, with a single quarter inch plywood bottom panel. 3D printed parts make all connections. Both wings and upper decks are constructed of PVC sheet. No stability cage needed, it's very light. The jury is still out on longevity. The one in the middle, one story, three wing, two feet by three feet, Aluminum sheet wings attached to plywood upper and lower decks with the 3D printed parts. It spins quite fast but must be contained by a stability cage. I plan to do most testing within this form factor. My Savonius or drag type Vots have difficulty in generating enough power. The lift type or Darius Vought can achieve nearly twice the rotational speed by relative size. In fact, data show lift Vots produce greater rotational speed up to four times wind velocity while drag type are limited to no more than two times. So after some detailed YouTube research, I laid out and printed the parts needed for this new type of design. Well, new to me. For printing the needed components, I chose the Chidi X-Max. This is my first 3D printer. Chidi has exceptional customer service with a one day turnaround time and a rock solid product line. I really love this thing. As for designing 3D models for print, a friend suggested that I try Fusion 360. I found Fusion 360 to be quite simple and intuitive with endless possibilities. Best part is, it's free for hobbyists. There are many helpful videos that will teach you how to use the program's precision and flexibility. I put links to YouTube instructors that help me below in the description. Here's my latest design. It's a work in progress. I've learned quite a bit with this and it looks like there's plenty of fertile ground for more learning ahead. For instance, do the blades have to be shaped like a wing? Apparently so. This design wobbled back and forth, but never spun. Didn't think it would, but before all the work designing and printing new parts, I had to be sure. The generators that I have built or purchased seem to have a minimum RPM that is difficult to maintain for more than a few minutes at a time. So I continued to test blade designs and recently started on gearboxes. A gearbox that suited my needs was well outside of my budget, so I searched Thingiverse found a 4 to 1 gearbox and modified it to my platform. I went through several iterations focused on reducing friction and optimizing gears for weight and print times. Then we tried it out in the wind. Generator RPM went up as expected along with more power for charging. However, the cut-in speed increased, resulting in much less time spinning. More tinkering to do. Stay tuned and see more. This is going to be great fun. Look, she's spinning! <laughs>